What's up, guys? It's Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down one of the best routes Odell Beckham Jr. has ran in his career, where he's running a 10-yard out route versus an outside shade DB on the goal line. So we're going to be talking about what you guys need to do, how you shouldn't force the route to the outside release, and how you guys can take what the DB gives you to create some separation. So I hope this video helps you guys out, but also, fellas, if you're a wide receiver in this offseason, you're struggling on what to do on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's on-the-field drills, whether it's workouts to do in the gym, check out that very first link in the description below for our ultimate eight-week wide wide receiver workout plan. So what it is, it's an eight week long schedule where we break down daily wide receiver drills on the field for route running, press releases, catching, um, explosiveness, balance. And then we break down daily gym workouts wide receivers should be doing with sets and reps all broken down for you. And we also include a two hour long video breaking down each drill that you guys should be doing and showing full speed examples. So check out that very first link below if you guys are interested in a complete off season workout schedule. Let's get started with this video. So Odell, obviously, based on what we see pre-snap, we can't really see the start of this clip, but based Based on what we see right here is that this DB's outside shade and we have to run a 10 yard out, right? And especially when this DB's on the goal line, this DB's not going to backpedal. So what a lot of guys will say is, oh, when you have an outside shade DB and you have to run an outside breaking route, you should attack his leverage. Like let's say Odell's lined up over here, like on the five yard line, he should angle his stem, widen his stem and attack the DB's leverage to get him to backpedal. But because we're on the goal line, a DB's not going to backpedal because if a DB were to backpedal on the goal line, a receiver could easily just hook up right there. Quarterback could throw the ball on time and it's an easy six points. So a DB's going to hold his ground. So as a wide receiver, what I want to do is I want to attack the inside and I want to try to work to either restack or work to throw by. Okay, so let's watch this thing full speed. Odell does a great job of taking the inside release, restacking, giving that one, two, and then being able to create some separation on this out route. So let's talk about why he does this and why this works. So maybe off the line, you got to understand though as a wide receiver that it's not about knowing the technique behind the move. It's not necessarily knowing about like, okay, if I put my foot right here and I step like this, I'm going to have some explosion. I'm going to be able to do this. Yes, you want to know those things and yes, you want to work on those things, but you also have to know when to apply it, right? When do I apply a rocker step at the top of the break? When do I actually restack rather than just break the route off in front of this DB? And it's all based on how the DB's lined up. If I see a DB pre-snap and he's outside shade, I know he's outside shade for one reason. He's trying to force me where? He's trying to force me inside because he's got this safety help right here. You kind of see this guy in the yellow cleats over here. He's got safety help. He wants me to take what he gives him and just go run this post and go run right into this safety while he can sit right on my hip and the quarterback has no space to make this throw. So as a wide receiver, I need to understand that. I need to understand, okay, that's his goal on this. He does not want me to give up. He does not want me to get to the outside so I can pretty much get that out of my head. If I attack his leverage, he's going to just keep his leverage and sit there. Then I'm going to break this out route right off in front of him. So I have to take it to the inside and threaten him to the inside. So Odell kind of angles the stem off the line fine and then when he bursts up vertical he's trying to restack and get over the top and you see how he's combating the hands when you guys can combat the hands like this and the db does not have hands at the top of the break we're going to be able to get a lot of separation so now he's going to use kind of this like one two rocker step at the top of the route where he goes one two to sell that post route and you see how he gives that upper body fake that's what that db is supposed to be watching but this db's eyes are incredibly high you don't ever want to look if you're a db watching this trying to get a wide receiver perspective you never want to be looking at the wide receiver's head or his eyes because that will lie to you. You want to be trying to focus on the body. But now as a, from a wide receiver perspective, I want to sell with my upper half. I actually want to sell with my body. You see how Odell kind of throws the upper half to the outside. His hips, his shoulders, and his head are all faking to the inside here. And that's what gets that DB to jump. And when we get that DB to just hesitate, I can get a lot of space. Now, what if the DB plays this thing a little bit better? What if he does get hands? What if we're running to the top of this thing and he's maybe like a step ahead of me? He's playing this thing pretty well. What would I do? I would put my hand either on the back of his hip or the back of his shoulder and I would throw him by and slip back underneath on the out route. An out route versus an outside shade DB, you're either working to do two things, restack and give a move or throw by, slip back underneath and get back to that ball. So those are the only two ways that you can do that specific route. So watch this thing again, full speed one more time. Great job by Odell pushing back a vertical, giving the one, two, getting that DB to sit to the inside and then making this play on that out route versus an outside shade DB. All right, guys, we want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comment section below. We'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Always appreciate the feedback, and it's obviously always great to hear from you guys as well. And again, fellas, if you want an ultimate eight-week wide receiver workout plan, everything wide receivers need to do in the gym and on the field broken down for you in a daily Monday through Sunday schedule, check out that very first link in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.